Joe Paterno said, we're coming out second, so here come the Hurricanes to a standing salute.
intercepted. Picked off by Derek Fox with strong safety for Penn State. Looking for blockers, and he's got some. Inside the 25, he loses the ball. And it's picked up by a teammate. So Joe Foss convinced he's got to let his skill position people make plays. And off. McCoo looking to go wide, and there's nothing there again. The Penn State runner has not beaten a top 10 team on the road in five years of the Nittany Lions. Miami is number eight. There's a throw and a catch. The ball is taken in by the quick Eddie Drummond coming off the flank. And the Nittany Lions meet four. First 
quarter. Casey called his own number as a quarterback draw. But this changes the defense. This is a gambling defense. Casey gets time. Here's it out. He's got a guy wide open. Shawfee Fields is in the end zone, and Penn State has the first touchdown of the day on a 50-yard scoring play. And the Nittany Lions extend to a 9 left nothing lead with the extra point coming up. Complete breakdown. Forney hits the point after. And so the quick strike, big play offense of the Nittany Lions gives them a 10 to nothing lead as the first quarter runs out. At the end of the first quarter of the score, Penn State 10 and Miami nothing. Paterno said, we'll find out today how good we are. He likes what he's finding out early after a quarter. Penn State leads 10 nothing. Andre King for Miami. Over the top, out to the 25-yard line. So he's 50%. Yeah. The wrong way, and here is Kelly going to the run. Looks for Jackson, and Penn State shuts him down. And uh, Shard Casey on that drive was 3 for 3 for 59 yards throwing the ball. Second and 9, they go right back to the off-tackle run. We've got a 15-yard penalty assessed for unnecessary roughness against the University of Miami. So now it is 3rd and 21 for the run. Miami comes up short again and has to punt the ball. Ball hit end over end downfield. Kenny Watson takes a look at it. And he'll let it roll downfield. It'll be a, a big punt for the Hurricanes inside the 30-yard line. The New Lions lead at 10-0. Kevin Thompson back in the quarterback hands off. And Jackson on the bench. They were retaping the ankle. Apparently, he will come back to play. Thompson gets time. Triggers a beautiful throw. Nice tight spiral. 12-yard gain on the play for a first down out to the 42-yard line. Another runner in the game. Larry Johnson, his dad's one of the assistant coaches. We talk about total domination. There it is right there. Second and 11. Good play fake. Thompson takes a look. Breaks containment. Then he's sacked at the 40-yard line. Third down. Thompson needs 12 on the throw. They get him again as they try to strip the ball. The Canes coming with a vengeance. Pocket. Great play. Great series by that Miami defense. Here's Santana Moss looking to break contender. He cannot. But this has really been a field of dreams for many who played here and cheered here. So many Super Bowls decided here. Orange Bowls and national championships. Here's a throw, and Aaron won, incomplete. Back in 84, when Miami upset Nebraska, 31-30 for the Canes' first national championship. Oh, look at that stick. Good to see that Jackson's back in the game, but what a welcome back. Penn State really rising up with a tremendous defensive performance, holding a 10-0 lead. Kelly stands in from behind. Courtney Brown, absolutely a dominator. Carolina, Courtney Brown. That was his 48th tackle for a loss in his career at Penn State. School record. Ooh, a fumble punt. And the Canes get a break. At the 34-yard line of Penn State. I don't want to think they're going to run away from 86. <laughs> Man, what a player. Arrington's been quiet. He hasn't done much. He, he did have that one good play early. Here's a penalty mark. He's as good as he thinks he is. He thinks he's terrific. On the offense, five yards. It'll be first and 15. But not today. This Penn State defense has it. Kelly looks. Here comes the rush. They oh. nail him for a huge loss. This is Perpacus. After the fumble punt by the Nittany Lions. Now they have it second and 26. Kelly goes to the run. Jackson straight ahead. Now the Canes with virtually no offense. It's third about 30, and I guarantee you Bush has none of those plays on his chart. Kelly from the shotgun. Running out of time. Buys some time with his feet. Here comes Kirkakis. He's picked off. Long ball to the end zone. Tipped away from Santana Moss. That's the play. Canes have to punt. Angling to the near sideline. And we'll see where they mark it. As his Nittany Lions have dominated, leading 10-0. Miami with a total offensive.
of minus two yards because of the sacks. Here comes Aaron Harris. Blocky runner. Why not? It works. Ralphie Fields has run the ball four times this year for almost 29 yards of carry. Eric McCoo is hit from behind. Breaks free. There could be more turnovers, though, Mike, because this rain. Davis said they won't have any thousand yard rushes because they got too many good guys. Nobody will get enough carries. Here's the throw downfield and almost picked. A lot of pressure on the quarterback. Third down. Thompson and the Nittany Lions lead nine. With high throw. Off the hands of Eddie Drummond at the midfield line. Me. Awaiting the punt at his 25. They get room to run this back. Santana Moss find out run people and very good special teams covered. I'll tell you, Spencer Tillman, he knows what it is for the glory days here in the Orange Bowl, and he ran the ball for Oklahoma. Here's a throw up the middle. Tight end gets his first ball, the All-American tight end for Miami, Bubba Franks. They talk about his confidence and his leadership. They say he won't get down when things go wrong. They need him now more than ever. Here's a handoff. Jackson turning wide, turning up, breaking it ahead. Pitch back to Jackson, looking for blockers. Get some room. Big hit. Strong safety, Derek Fox. Mark was a career guy. Too smart to cut him, even when he lost speed. Kelly buys time, fires on the run. Look at that throw. That's what Kenny Kelly can do, and he's on his game. He's been a tremendous player from age nine when he was the best Pop Warner League player in America. Led his team to the national championship. Second down. Gaines needs six. Rain falling. They're down by ten. Kelly with a fastball comes in low. He's a center fielder. Gaines are 0 for 5 on third down. They need six. Kelly throws, he gets Bubba Franks who loses the ball. Rain falling. The blitzer's coming. Kelly steps in, he's on the run. Look at that move, but Kelly is taken down. No, he's not, he breaks the tackle and he's inside the 15-yard line. He's not done till he's down to the seven. Pulling rabbits out of hats, 18 yards, he was done. Fumble, Penn State. Penn State has the ball. Gets away from another tackle. Hold on to the football. There it comes. Big time hit at the end of the play by Fox. Kelly, though, Mike, will keep you on the edge of your seat. But he and Casey. Hand off. Gaines, again, knocked down the runner. But the turnover count will build as this game goes on because there are knockout hitters out there, and it's wet. Long ball downfield. Beautifully covered. Leonard Myers on the very fast Eddie Drummond. They take it right off the satellite, too. Thompson, four for nine. Goes to the run. Harris, caught from behind, knocked down at the five-yard line. Why? They're coming after him. Pigeon steps in and hits a beauty. A high spiral. Tough catch for Santana Moss, who makes it at the 38-yard line. But, but uh, I think we're lacking coaching that particular year. Kelly swings it out. Jackson gets the ball and somehow gets downfield. He's on the way. He's inside the 20 and gets out of bounds. So, 132 to go in the half. Kelly gets a little time. Eyes some more. Takes a look. Off he goes and heads for the sideline and smartly dances out of bounds. Second down. Canes need two. Challenging at the 10-yard line of Penn State. Now they take too long and lose. Substitution, 12 men on the field on the offense, five uh, yards. It's all on Kelly now. They're going to be moving him around. And Penn State's going to be coming for him. Here they come. Kelly throws and makes the connection. They can't get out of bounds, though. The clock runs. As and off. They go to Jackson. And they try to catch up. Picks field goals, extra points, punts. Kicks off, does it all. 29-yard attempt on the way, and he splits him. So the Canes get points late in the second quarter. 23 seconds left in the half. Crossland kicks off, a high-spinning kick. Watson, he who hesitates, is he lost? Well, he's 
taken down to the 12 yard line. Thompson, they'll head to the locker room with a lot more to come and a lot more to come at halftime on this big day in college football on CBS. And now we send it to Tim Brando in New York. Had been on a tug that went down. Here's the kickoff. Hit downfield and Kenny Watson from the two yard line for the Nittany Lions. Breaks it. Moves to the outside, trying to get by the kicker. He does, and they finally get him from behind. But a brilliant return, addressed rather sternly by Coach Paterno after he fumbled that punt earlier. Thompson throws, gets a man ahead for a gain of about five yards. See Thompson's numbers. Bringing those linebackers in and out. Lining the blitz, handoff McCoo. Turning back, running well, needed five, got six, first down, Nittany Lions, first down. Thompson dumps it off, Eddie Drummond. He's down close to the 25-yard line. And they couldn't stop the run last year, but so far today, great job. Thompson with a timing pattern gets the ball out to Sam Crenshaw on the far flank. So if I asked about the rain, he said they practice in this a lot. So this is harder on the defensive backs than the offense. The big hurricane following now kicks in. A sold-out orange ball. Third down. Needing six. Throw and a catch to the tight end. Tony Stewart is down for a first down to the five-yard line. McCo to the two. Doesn't matter. Second and goal. McCo wide and in, standing up. And Penn State with a perfectly executed opening drive that was ignited by the 53-yard kickoff return by Watson. Snap and set down are good. Nittany Lions 17-3. Great move right there, getting to the corner. So Penn State drives down the field and takes a 17-3 lead. Needing to get something going now. They have a sign in their locker room. The road to the top is always uphill. It is for them now for to get back in this game. Running the kickoff back for Miami. If you will see Tennessee and Florida from Gainesville. Others will see Michigan at Syracuse. Hand off up the middle. Gaines trying to run. Jackson the ball carry, and they're okay, they've got to make a stop here. First and ten. Kevin Thompson, who started the game at quarterback. This is Omar Easy, the guy averaging nine and a half yards a run. Thompson, quick drop. Ball skips to the hands of his receiver. So that brings up third down and ten. On the run, can he outrace the pursuit? He cannot. Knocked out of bounds all the way back at the 20. So booms the ball downfield. Santana Moss loses it, picks it up. Shortest distance between two points. He starts straight ahead, and they're not going to get there running the ball against this Penn State defense. Timing pattern near side. The ball is flipped out nicely. They head for a gain of about five yards to Mondrell Fulcher. Jackson cuts up, cuts in. He's ahead for a gain of four yards. He Jackson finds a gap on third down. Good blocking from the right side. Not bad being ranked third in the country and 3-0 and coming in. And he's number eight. Kelly gets it down. What a catch. Bubba Franks and down with the ball. Miami Hurricanes representing the Big East. They've won their last eight against Big Ten opponents at Miami, but now Jackson runs in it. It was Jim Kelly's first start at quarterback for Miami, and they really felt that got the program turned around. Kelly in trouble, eludes it, Cooley moving downfield, nothing there, so goes over the top and gets himself about six. Enormously important drive for Miami. Down by 14.
18. Rain is stopped right now. Jackson looks for a blocker, comes inside, and Jackson's down to the 18-yard line. Eighth play of the drive. Right back to Jackson with a blocker. He's heading in, and James Jackson takes it the distance. And he's back in the game, an 18-yard run for a touchdown. Sustained drive, 18 yards on the payoff run. Extra point is hit up and good by Crossman. And with 3.56 left to go in the third quarter, it's now Penn State 17, Miami 10. The drive, Mike, they really had to have. And the Canes get it and get back in the game. They'll kick off when we come back. Both teams have picked up the, the, the offensive pressure a little bit this half. High kick, a spinning kick. They're kicking it short. They don't want to kick to the return man. They give it to an up back. And he's it was a fair catch signal on the play. Now it's 17-10, Mitty Lions. Bashard Casey's in. Dodging trouble, but they nail him. Another sack for the Kane defense. We'll have the answer in a bit, as right now they go to the run. Not much going on for Eric McCoo on second down. It's rocking and rolling now. Big play. They're down. They need over 10. They're going to blitz. Here it comes. Safety's coming. Linebacker's coming. And Richard Casey beats them all. Heading to the outside. He has a first down. And he could go the distance. The race is on. Will Richard Casey win it? Looks like he will. They finally get him from behind inside the 10-yard line. Hey, Don, they're going to bring it all the way back. 72-yard run negated. That's a career. I thought he turned his back a little bit, but you know what? You can't get on the back of his leg like he does right there. Yeah. Yep. That's the call, a good one. The replay showing a clip. And off to McCoo. He breaks it, and then he's caught from behind. Get one of their punts. They're going for it. They almost get it. They say it's clean. He did tip the ball. They knocked the putter down, but they did get a piece of the ball. It doesn't get any closer, Don. We just talked about it. This hasn't been a happy valley for visiting teams over the years. During one 10-year stretch, Miami won an NCAA record 58 straight home games. From 85 through 94. Kelly dumps it off. He gets McCartland, his big fullback, who doesn't get it often, but loses the ball. It caroms downfield and goes out of bounds. Such a good athlete. He was recruited for basketball by schools like North Carolina and Georgetown. He has the package. North Hills High in Pittsburgh. On our home field. At the end of the third quarter with a score. Penn State 17, Miami 10. We'll be right back after a message and a word from your local station. Going through two a days in August. 100 degrees and high humidity down in Florida. Kelly takes a look on second and nine. Hale's out of trouble for the moment. Fires a long ball. Look at this. It's taken oh. in. Touchdown. Santana Moss on the comeback pattern he beat Ohio State with on a 67-yard scoring play just like that. This was 40 yards. And lo and behold, the Kings, who were gone not that long ago, are right back in it. An extra point away. <laughs> Here's the extra point. Crossland knocks it up and through, and Miami roaring back with 14 unanswered points. The adjustment. Look at Moss. He turns around like a center fielder. Fox completely lost it. Boy, you can make or break a season. I really felt I could make the team. I just wanted to get a tryout. Here he is starting. And really one of the standouts. Kick off. Kenny Watson for the Lions. Comes out of the pack and gets across. Ball on the field. And Penn State gets it back at the 27-yard line. Lane is stopped. Lights on. Timing throw. Richard Casey puts it on the numbers of Eddie Drummond. And he's ahead for a gain of 11 yards. And first down, Penn State. Game tied. Early fourth quarter, as you see. 14-33. Lob throw. Nicely timed. Down with the ball. Shoffy Fields, and he's ahead for a big game. McCoo cuts back. Open gate. Eric McCoo, what a well-executed play by the Nittany Lions. 
He's inside the 20. Handoff. Straight ahead. Ciramelli. On a first down carry. They... I think it's an interesting relationship between he and Paterno. Two different kind of guys. And we're going with Ciramelli. Right back to him. Big fullback. First down Penn State. This tie game.
back foot with 428 to play. Lions dig in. Miami's going to run the ball. First and 10. Jackson to the 41 yard line. For CBS totaling the numbers, Penn State has not allowed an opposing runner to hit a 100 yard day in his last 15 games until today. Jackson's going to get more. Look at that block by McCartney. You got two guys. Man. First and 10, Miami. Haynes holding to a three point lead. They were down by 14 in the third quarter and they've come back to lead the game. Jackson. Getting on the moves, but he's not fooling the right corner, Anthony King. Orange Bowl in Miami. Fourth quarter, 3-0-1 to play in it. Canes go to a play fake. Open guy, overthrown. Penalty marker in from the back judge. And blocks like a tackle. Who has hurts the Lions? Kenny Kelly, the sophomore quarterback, making just his third varsity start, settling down in the second half. Gets straight ahead to his workhorse back. James Jackson. Jackson. Doing the right thing. Cuts up field. Stays in bounds. And we'll see the Michigan Wolverines go into Syracuse to play the Orangemen who upset them at Ann Arbor last year. Check your local listing. Ains with an eight-game winning streak against Big Ten opponents. Jackson. This man is running hard all day, taking hits. He still has a full tank. Uh, I, I think you have to go with Casey. He's had the hot hand, but if I, you know, Joe Bob usually goes with the guy he thinks is going to make the sure read every time. So this is going to be interesting. And on the win streak, last Miami lost to a Big Ten team was to Michigan 15 years ago. They don't play a lot of Big Ten teams. Long ball. There's a guy. It's caught. Shoffy Fields is on the run. A race to the end zone. And Shoffy Fields will win it. He goes in with 142 left to play. Look at the Penn State people on the field. They're going to get called. No flags. It's a touchdown. Penn State has come from behind on a 79-yard pass play. But we're not done. Now what can Kenny Kelly do when Miami gets the ball back? Here's the extra point up and good. And Miami now must score a touchdown. Being covered by Mike Rump. Rump has pretty good coverage. Look at where he dropped the ball in. That is a great pass by Kevin Thompson. Wonderful concentration by Fields. And with 4-3, 4-4 speed, you're not going to catch him. Miami go the long field. It's a good kick. High, but there's wind coming at the ball. It'll be run back by Andre King. Stood up, thrown back at the 21-yard line. Penn State lines up on defense. Ready to put the pass rush on. Kelly has to throw. Miami does have three timeouts. He can use the middle of the field. Fires over the middle. He does get his man on the open field. It's Andre King, and he's out to the 36-yard line. Free safety cheats over on him. They want to double him up. Here's a Kelly looking at him. Eludes the rush. Fires downfield. Intercepted. The ball is picked off. Ascari Adams takes it back, and Penn State will win the game if they can run out the clock with 1.11 left to go. To the run. Tackle made, 40-yard line. Haynes quickly used one of their three. Back to the run. Conservative football. Harris stays in bounds, gets no gain. But they're going to continue with that two-quarterback system. Casey calls his own number and runs it. Didn't get there. Down to the 35-yard line with 51 seconds. 50 seconds to go, and they're going to put the ball on the ground. Miami out of timeouts. 50 seconds left. Casey keeps it himself. Didn't get there. Miami takes over the ball now. The change of possession. The clock stops with 46 seconds left to play. Kelly at quarterback. Middle linebackers coming on a blitz. So is Arrington. Here's Kelly. Runs away from trouble. Long ball. Only guy out there is a Nittany Lion, yet another pick. And that will do it. Right to Baja Joe. Thompson in the game at quarterback. Puts the ball down with a tremendous come from behind win. The Nittany Lions backs to the wall, hit the big play, a 79 touchdown play just as eight. What can you do? Uh, Butch Davis said one of the first football books he read when he was in grammar school was the first book Joe Paterno wrote on coaching. That'll do it now for Mike Mayock.